This is the bark of a sycamore tree, otherwise known as a Celtic maple, Asa pseudobotanus. Now tree bark comes in very different varieties. Sometimes it's smooth, sometimes it's rough, sometimes there are scales that are falling off. But on this older tree, moss and lichens have very much taken hold. And we do have as a whole mass of these quite beautiful, tiny mushrooms. Some of them are the bonnet cap group, the Mycenas. Others are the parachute caps, the Merasmius. But some can be very small, but perfect in terms of their structure. So these are the gill-bearing ones. They have distinct gills, rather than tiny wee holes or pores. Some of these are absolutely minute. This is November. It's been very wet recently, after a long dry spell. Various sorts of lichens here. Lichens are related to the group of fungi, in the sense that they are fungi with the partners of a type of alga. Usually one can't survive without the other. There's very much a partnership. But often these tiny wee mushrooms go unnoticed. Some tree bark is somewhat acidic, like that of the oaks. And that tends to very much select those species of moss, lichen, and mushrooms that can grow on them. You get these uh, water runs, like the sort of drains, the drain pipes effects, depending on the shape of the tree. So you can see that this area here has got a greater growth. And of course, ordinarily, um, the side facing north would have the greatest growth. That would be the air that would be the, the moistest and the least dried out from a, a southern sun. These are the grounds of Spears, the old school near Beeth, North Asia.